Nike came out and they publicly announced that they have bought a virtual shoe company that makes NFTs and sneakers for the metaverse. So Nike has announced that they have acquired the RTFKT Studios, which they call themselves a leading brand that leverages cutting edge innovation to deliver the next generation collectibles that merge culture and gaming. So in February, RTFKT claims that they uh, that in February, a collaboration with a teenage artist called Few Wishes were able to sell real sneakers paired with virtual ones, and they were managed to sell about 600 pairs, you know, uh, real sneakers slash NFTs in about six minutes, ne uh, netting over $3.1 million. So it looks like Nike is ge gearing up to, to sell some digital sneakers. So Landon, what are your thoughts? You know, now hearing that Adidas is launching their NFT, Nike has bought this company. Are you... Are you preparing yourself to buy a digital Jordan 1 high in person and also in the metaverse? I am honestly just more surprised that Adidas is dropping their NFT first. How did that like they came out of nowhere? Out of nowhere. Though. Out of nowhere. Yeah. Like there's never are we ever talking about really Adidas. No, I thought Nike was going to move the fastest. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure even like, a you know, maybe not a month ago, but around that time we were talking about their connection with Roblox and they're yeah. you know, d yep. getting into the metaverse type yeah, stuff. Fortnite. And, then, and then all of a sudden Adidas is like, ah, well, let's just do it. Yeah. Like we're just going to drop this thing and see what happens. Yeah, I don't know. I was, is getting, I was shocked. Sure is, but this is interesting. I mean, I, I actually saw this. I did see this article. I didn't really know about the uh, about the specifics because I knew you were going to cover it. But uh, 600 pairs in six minutes. I mean, these things sell out just like their sneakers. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's like. What well, it is sneakers? It was both. That, oh, that's right. You it said it's both. a combination of 600 sneakers. What was the pair? Do you know what the pair of shoes was? What they looked like? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think if you click on the article real does, quick, does it, it should it should show you what they look like. Yeah. I, oh, I do. Actually, yeah, I see them. So, I mean, that's a, it's definitely a, so few wishes is who they're going to be uh, collaborating with in February. And what's that supposed they to? They did. No, this is oh, last oh, this February. Was last yeah, February. 2020. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, they, so they have, I mean, they've really kind of so they proved themselves around with it. Yeah. You know, so. So now they, they've actually done it with a launch. I think Nike was like, all right, they did it. It worked. They profited 3.1 million. You know, let's go acquire them. Oh, that's what. Okay. So, okay. okay. Right. Because now, now we want to do it saying. with Nike and a, a Jordan. And no, that's stuff. cool. I mean, you see, you see, I like before we started doing all these like uh, research and stuff like that, you didn't realize all the different acquiring and like how stuff is going on in the world. Like eBay's taking like acquiring sneaker con, yeah. Nike's acquiring this, Adidas, like all these different. Yeah, they're making moves, making all these major moves, man. What are you going to do? Everyone's trying to get into the digital game. <laughs> and I'm just like, really? Do we need to go there? It's and the next. We do. It's the next goal. My it's hey, you got to be ready because it's coming without and with or without thing, you. Hey, thanks for watching this clip of the Laced Up Show. To watch the full episode, click here and to subscribe for more sneaker related content, click here. But until next time, peace.